Are you dealing with aging parents? Or are you a healthcare worker and you're dealing with the elderly? Do you know the difference between Alzheimer's and dementia? A lot of people, even a lot of professional healthcare workers, get these things mixed up and you really need to know the difference. Stay tuned and I'll tell you the difference between those two and several other things you need to know in dealing with dementia. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Dr. Monty, Dr. Monty Miller, clinical psychologist working in nursing homes primarily for the last 22 years. Working with the old folks is what I do best. It's I can I deal make videos on all kinds of subjects. I've learned a whole lot from working with these guys. It's applicable to everybody. But working with the geriatrics themselves is really my forte. It's what I really love doing. And of course, helping out the people who are dealing with their elderly parents is a big part of what I do as well. And one thing I've come across is dealing with the problems of dementia and Alzheimer's. Now, I am available, now I have my website up and I'm available for consultations. Feel free to look me up, my uh, address is down below, findpeacedrmonty.com. And I'd love to sit there and set up a point with you to help you out with your parents or with yourself, or as training for your facility for nursing homework. So please give me a contact. If you can, like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, like my, watch my other videos and share them as well. I'd really appreciate that so YouTube can get these things out to other people. All right, so what is the difference between dementia and Alzheimer's? A lot of medical professionals, doctors and nurses, even some of them, get it mixed up a lot. And so a lot of family members really don't know the difference at all, but they need to know. They're, they're similar, but they're the same. The Alzheimer's, let me explain. Alzheimer's is a type of dementia, but not all dementias are Alzheimer's. Think of like dementia as being the broader category, like a fruit. Banana is a fruit, but it's only one type of fruit. Alzheimer's is one type of dementia, but there are other types as well. Dementia, to put it simply, basically just means your memory's not doing very good. You get forgetful. Now, when we talk about memory, we're really talking about there's two different types of memory. You have your long-term memory, things you've remembered long time ago. And then there's short-term memory, things that have happened more recently. A lot of people, even when they get Alzheimer's or other types of dementia, can still remember what happened a long time ago. They can remember their wedding day and when they, you know, they, they graduated from school and stuff they did in the war and all that stuff just fine. That's great, but that doesn't really help us today. What we're really worried about more today is can you function independently? Can you deal with your problems that you have to deal with today? And that requires short-term memory. You've got to be able to learn new material. If someone tells you something and you don't remember it, does you no good. If you put uh, something on the stove and you forget about it, that's dangerous. If you take your pills and then you forgot that you took your pills so you take them again, that's dangerous. If you go wandering around the block and you forget where you are, that's very dangerous. So our short-term memory is really what's critical when we're looking at cognitive problems with the elderly. Now we all get a little more forgetful as we get older. And a little forgetfulness is not a problem. It's when it gets more severe that we label it dementia. And of course, you know, working with a clinical professional like a psychologist or a trained medical doctor, a social worker, speech therapists are really good at this too, that uh, you can really figure out what level of short-term of short memory loss is becoming a problem. So it's really kind of hard to figure out and it depends on a lot of variables, but we need you guys to help us out with them, with your loved ones. All right, so you have dementia. So that's a just means your memory is not working well. It's kind of like, but it's a, not a disease in and of itself. It's a symptom, kind of like a headache. A headache's not a disease. It's a symptom of other problems, and it can be lots of causes. Alzheimer's is one major cause of dementia. Alzheimer's is a disease of the brain itself. The brain is just made of millions of wires connecting one part of the brain to another. And what happens with Alzheimer's is those wires start curling up on themselves. And you also get little plaques. That, so you have one wire connected to another wire and you get something in between that blocks the transmission. So those are called plaques. That's what's going on with Alzheimer's and it progressively gets worse and worse and worse. It's a very slow decline over time. It doesn't just happen all of a sudden. So if you're doing fine, you're doing fine, the next day your mom's like not making sense and confused and really forgetful, that's something else going on. That's a dementia because the memory's not working right. But it's not Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's is slow and steady over years. You will eventually die from it. It gets it's that bad. It stops your brain from being able to function enough to live. 
So, in general, Alzheimer's, once it's diagnosed and you're pretty sure it's it, can still go on another 10 years, maybe in 15 years with, with good treatment. Um, but sometimes that's just prolonging the misery, it's really hard. But there's a lot more I could say about Alzheimer's, a lot more you could need to know to research into it. But you need to know that Alzheimer's is a specific type of dementia that is progressive, but slow in building. But there's no test for dementia is the problem. You can't do a blood test, you can't do a brain scan, you can't do a series of intelligence and psychological tests to show that there's dementia. You can look at all those together and you can still only kind of make sense that maybe something's going on, but you don't know for sure. The only way we really know for sure is once we see the progression over time and they're getting into the middle of those middle stages of it, that you can probably figure, yeah, okay, this is probably Alzheimer's. But in the early stages, we're just guessing that maybe that's what's going on. It's hard. But like I said, it needs to be progressive. If it's sudden, then there's something else medical going on. That brings us to other dementias. There's lots of other types, and I can't get into all the specifics right here. There's, there's a lot of times it's just something change in metabolism, something physically wrong with their health, their bodily health. The brain's fine, it's just that's connected to the body, right? So when the body gets sick, it makes our mind not work quite right. And so you have to figure out what all is going on with the body. So real simply, what are some of the other types of dementias that we commonly see amongst the elderly? Well, you can have temporary problems just because they're sick. If they've had pneumonia or a bad cold or flu, and they've, especially if they got dehydrated. And there's sometimes the gastro GI problems, like stomach problems, diarrhea, vomiting, constipation. All the anything to really dry the body out can make the mind not quite work right. And if they're frail in a lot of other ways physically, those kind of changes can play a big part in what's going on mentally. Depression is another thing. I mean, if you're depressed, your memory's not going to be very good. You just don't have the mental energy to want to try to learn and see what's going on. But that's, that's something you certainly want to see a psychologist about and have the person evaluate them and treat that. But that usually doesn't require, doesn't result in severe memory losses. What uh, can also happen, and we see a lot of times in nursing homes with the elderly, what can result in a big problem all of a sudden, urinary tract infections, bladder infections. I know, it's a weird problem. A problem down there results in a problem up here, but it happens a lot. Especially with women, tend to get a lot of bladder infections. Men, if they have catheters, get infections as well a lot of times. But only maybe, I don't know if I forget the numbers, like 20-30% of time people with infections in the elderly can also, it gets them confused. It gets with the kidneys, and I'm not going to explain in detail well medically, I'm not a medical doctor, but with, it basically gets in your bloodstream, gets in the brain, clogs up your brain, to put it simply. But now, good news is, there's no damage done. You just need to get antibiotics in them, you clear them up that way, get, a system, get this bad stuff out of your system, you're as good as new, no damage done. So, that's a very common problem. So if you see somebody who's doing well, and all of a sudden they're having a problem, Get the, take them to a doctor and get their urine checked out to see if there's an infection. The other primary type of dementia that we see a lot of times in the elderly is vascular dementias. Vascular means the blood vessel system, and so if there's any kind of problem with the supply of oxygen up to the brain, that can result in vascular dementia. Some of the common types of things as you see is of course strokes. We see a lot of people with strokes, and Fortunately, a lot of times people with strokes have more of a problem with their motor control, controlling their body, or maybe their language, or their swallowing. It doesn't often affect their cognition or their short-term memory. It certainly can. It's not uncommon. It's just not as common as the other kind of strokes. But certainly you can have many strokes, or what we call TIAs, transient ischemic attacks, TIAs. Those can happen and can be very hard to detect uh, just by watching and observing. But sometimes you can have little TIAs going on and it can cause little bits of memory spouts that can cause your mind to go up and down over time. You really need a certain neurologist and have you checked out for that. Certain CAT scans can check to see what's going on in the brain in that regard. Um, but that's a vascular problem. Also, another type of vascular problem you can have is because after a surgery and you have anesthesia administered and maybe the anesthesia got too strong or some problem there, sometimes you can see a problem after a surgery. So sometimes people are like, they all of a sudden started acting bad. What's ha well, what happened around that time? Well, they did have the surgery. Ah, there you go. That's probably part of what's happened. Again, talk to your doctor, neurologist about these things. You want to make sure they're doing whatever they can to prevent these kind of problems from happening, especially with strokes or mini strokes. 
definitely on all these things see your medical doctor. But regarding Alzheimer's, psychologists that work in the nursing home, speech therapists are often the best to, to diagnose these things. So those are the main problems. There's other problems like Lewy body dementia, uh, alcohol-related dementia. Those things can be a little more rare and harder to figure out. Lewy body dementia, you have this cognition that goes up and down and up and down over time, but progressively slower, I mean worse over time. But that can be a fairly, not, it's not uncommon, we still see that every now and then as well. So those are the problems. Now how you deal with Alzheimer's, all the different steps you can take as the disease gets worse is a lot more in depth and we'll make another video of that another time soon. If you have questions or concerns, please contact me, email me, go online and uh, set up an appointment with me online. I'd be glad to talk with you and just to help you out what's going on with your loved ones. I do that a lot with my practice already and it's something I'd love to help you with as well. Please, if you can, subscribe. Hit the thumbs up button if you like this. Let me know what's going on and I'll make more videos.